Hey, Turning Point Zone. My name is Samisola Okai, and welcome to some soul food. I apologize for earlier. Um, I was having a few technical difficulties, but um, I am here, and we are here to talk about forgiveness. <laughs> There's a song, I don't want to sing it, but <laughs> it's an 80s song about forgiveness and it's just a topic that really has been on my heart and it's just a beautiful thing when you can walk out forgiveness and you know, I know the topic of today is about how do you deal with offense? How do you def deal when someone has offended you or you have offended somebody and um, what do we do? And really, um, I just want us to look at the parable of the unforgiving servant. Thank you for all the, the likes um, and, the, and the hearts. That's encouraging. Make sure you hit that like button. Uh, hit the purple likes or purple hearts. I like those to see the, those hearts as you're watching. Um, but yeah, let us go right into the Bible. This is the life manual. I call this soul food because it's food for the soul. I know we all like to eat, right? We all get hungry. We like to eat a little bit of chicken and rice. Um, and so our souls get hungry too. And it's so good to feed our souls. And this is not a thing where it's like, I have all the answers. Really, it's just to encourage you to also pick up your Bible and to spend time with God and just spend time reading his word and let it transform you. So we're going to be in Matthew 18. If someone wants to hashtag that, Matthew 18. And I'm going to pray, and we'll, we're going to jump right in. So, Father, thank you, Lord, for this time that we get to read your word, God, and just be uh, transformed by it. And I pray that as I read this, God, that you would give us revelation, God, that you would um, speak to our hearts, God. If there's any unforgiveness, if there's any offense, if there's anything, Lord, that you want us to um, just give to you, God. We just ask that as we read your word, we will be changed, our lives will be changed, and those who are watching will also be touched in Jesus name. Amen. Hey Charlene, Matthew 18. Yes. All right. So let's jump right in. Matthew 18 verse 21. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, if my brother keeps on sinning against me, how many times do I have to forgive him? Seven times. Now, how many of y'all have asked God, Lord, there's this one person that just keeps doing the same thing. And how many times, Lord, how many times do I have to forgive this person? Um, and guess what Jesus is going to tell you? 70 times 7. That means every single time. And now here is why. And it goes on to say, because the kingdom of heaven is like this. Once there was a king who decided to check on his servants' accounts. So there's a king who's like, okay, let me see... I have all these people and owe me stuff, let me check. And so he looks, and so he had just begun to do so when one of them was brought in who owed him millions of pounds. Now, can you imagine owing millions of pounds to somebody and you got like $2 in your account, you know? You probably can't pay it off, right? And so it says, the servant did not have enough to pay his debt, so the king ordered him to be sold as a slave with his wife and his children and all that he had in order to pay the debt. So have you ever been in a situation where you can't even pay something like you owe something so big that you can't even pay? And so not only you suffer, your wife, your family, the dogs, the cats, everybody. And I see a question from Fraser. How are you? God sees big and he's still making miracles. That's so true. So, yes. This servant could not pay it. So the king ordered him to basically go into slavery. And so the servant fell on his knees before the king and he said, be patient with me, he begged. I will pay you everything. And the king felt sorry for him. So he forgave his debt and let him go. The king forgave his debt, forgave millions of pounds of debt from this servant. Now that is huge. Then the man went out to meet one of his fellow servants who owed him a few pounds. Now, can you imagine you've just gotten forgiven of a millions of dollars or pounds or wherever you are. You know, actually, let me know which country you're in and what is the currency that you uh, use, whether you're in the UK, if it's pounds, if it's Naira, whatever it is, type it in below. But can you imagine owing millions and millions and being forgiven of everything, maybe even like you owe, so many of us maybe have a mortgage and somebody says, you're forgiven. 
And then right afterwards, someone who owes you like two dollars, you're like, okay, you need to pay me back right now, or I'm gonna throw you to jail. So basically, this is what the the servant did. He grabbed him. It says here in verse 28, he grabbed him and he started choking him. Pay back what you owe me, he said. His fellow servant fell down and begged him, please be patient with me. I will pay you back. Now this servant um, that owed him like two dollars is like, oh, just please be patient with me. I will pay you back. And you would think at, he would remember that someone had just forgiven him millions of pounds. But this unforgiving servant was like, nope, sorry, those two dollars. No, 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 no. I'm not going to have mercy on you. Instead, he had him thrown into jail for like two dollars. He had him thrown in, into jail and he said he should pay back his debt. He showed him no mercy. Now it says, when the other servants saw what had happened, they were very upset and they went to the king and asked and told him everything. So he called his servant in and he said, you worthless slave. I forgave you the whole amount you owed me just because you asked me to. You should have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I, I have had mercy on you. And the king was very angry and he sent his servant to jail to be punished until he should pay back the whole amount. And Jesus concluded, that is how my father in heaven will treat every one of you unless you forgive your brother from your heart. Now I know it's easy when you're reading the story, you're thinking, oh my goodness, how could this servant do that? After he's just been forgiven all this stuff, he couldn't even forgive $2? And that's how you and I are, because the king really was the father. The king is Father God, and he sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross, to take up all of our infirmity, all of our uh, offenses, and all of the ways we've broken the law. There's no way we could pay back or, or even work to pay back what we owe the Father, as we sinned against him. That's what sin is. It's breaking the law. There's no way we could pay that back. And God said, you know what? You don't have to pay it. I'm going to send my son, Jesus, and he's going to take your place. He's going to go on the cross and he's going to take up the sin of the world. The, the Bible says that he became sin so that we could become righteous. He became that so that we could be free. He took on our debt. He took on the millions of pounds that we could never pay back. And he said, basically said, I'll pay it for you. I forgive you. Now he wants us to forgive others. So really, if somebody offends you and you choose not to forgive them, you're saying, Lord, I'll take all the mercy and the forgiveness that you've given me. I'll take it all. Thank you, Lord. But if my sister or my brother does something to me, oh no, they're going to pay me back every penny. They're going to they're gonna pay for what they did. And so we can't do that. Really, this is just... Uh, a reminder that we have to forgive because Jesus forgave us. Uh, and there's a scripture, actually the Lord's Prayer, it says, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. So this is just to encourage you to, if you have a burden, if you have an offense, first remember what you have been forgiven from. Remember what Jesus has forgiven you of. And it'll make it so much easier to forgive somebody else. It's like, if Jesus has already taken the offense, if he's already paid the price, who are we to hold on to offense? And just before I continue, for those of you watching, um, we want to give away, I want to give away one of these two books. And, and you can get it. There are two ways to get it. If you comment below, um, or if you share this video, share, 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 comment below, and you will be in the drawing to win one of these books. It's a book Two of the, these books are about forgiveness, and we're going to send you one of these for free, just for commenting and just for sharing. Um, one of them is called The Wall Around Your Heart by Mary DeMuth. She's been on Turning Point. Both of these guests have been on Turning Point. Uh, have been on Turning Point International, and these books are about forgiveness. So we want to help you not just talk about it. We want to help you and give you tools to forgive if you're struggling with forgiveness. So it's by Mary DeMuth, and the other book is called The Freedom Factor, Finding Peace by Forgiving Others and Yourself. And I will send this to you for free. If you comment below or you share, share, share this video, you will be in the drawing to win one of these books. So make sure you do. Tell your friends. Tell anyone who you think might be blessed by one of these books. So definitely want to mention that. And I see a, a comment from Elda Paul. 
um, it fails, I really have to forgive as the word of God teach you, teaches us. And yes, Elda, you're not the only one. I'm speaking to myself too, you know. If, if you haven't been offended, you will be. If you haven't offended some, someone, you will. You might knowingly or unknowingly do it. But this really will set you free. I'm telling you, a lot of people feel like, you know, that person offended me. They got to pay. They got to apologize. They got to do all these things. But really, the person that's in bondage is you. And you, you it, may, it may seem as though it's the other person, but forgiving that person actually sets you free. It sets you free from bitterness. It sets you free from anger. It sets you free, really, so that God can take care of it. And really what you're saying to God is, God, I trust you. I trust you with my pain. I trust you with this offense. I trust you with the hurt. And I trust you to take care of it. And he will. He's happy to. He doesn't want us to hold that offense but he wants us to give it to him. And even Matthew verse 5, um, 23 says, therefore, if you're offering your gift to the altar and thereby remember that your brother has something against you. And this one gets me every time because it's not even if you have something against your brother. If you about to pray to God and offer him something and you remember your brother has something against you, the Bible tells us, leave your gift before the altar. First, go and be reconciled to your brother. Then come and offer your gift. That's how much reconcil reconciliation is important to God. He cares about our feelings. He wants us um, to be reconciled to each other, even if it's not your fault. Even if you did nothing or you think you did nothing, it's important. God wants us to reach out to each other and to forgive. And the Bible says we should hold nothing against each other. There's a scripture in Romans 13 says, Let no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt to love one another. For whosoever loves others has fulfilled the law. Owe your brother nothing but to love. Yes. Oh, I see a comment from Fraser. You're good. Have you ever thought of doing a podcast? Uh, no, I haven't, but this is just a way actually just to encourage you guys, um, really just to connect with you guys. And, and I know, you know, I'm not an expert. I just love the word of God and I know what it's done in my life. I know how much it's healed and changed me. And I just want to encourage you, even if you're doing this with me or you're doing it on your own, just pick up the word of God. I call this soul food because, you know, it's food for the soul. It's so important that you're not only okay on the outside, but your soul is fed as well. Um, so yeah, I just want to encourage you guys, don't hold offense. And if you're having a hard time with it, just pray about it and ask God and say, Lord, I'm having a hard time with this. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. It's not. It's not going to be easy. But forgiveness is the key to freedom. If you want to be free today, forgive. And if you're having a hard time, remember what Jesus did on the cross for you. As this story of the parable of the unforgiving servant, Jesus has basically forgiven you of millions of things. He's forgiven you of everything you've done today, everything you did in the past, and everything you will ever do has been nailed to the cross. It's already been forgiven. When he said, it is finished, it is done. He's forgiven. He has paid the price. And all he wants us to do is love. And not just you, but your brother and your sister. Whatever they will ever do has already been forgiven on the cross. So who are we to hold anything? Who are we to hold a grudge when Jesus has already paid the, the price? He's already taken up um, our pain and our suffering. So I just want to encourage you today to do that. Anything you've ever done or will ever do pales in comparison to what was done on the cross to set you free. So if you're having a, a, a difficulty holding a fence, oh, I beseech you, let it go. Forgive. Call that person, text them, tell them, you know, I forgive, like, or forgive me, really, because that person is more important than the offense. Their soul matters more. In 10 years, you're not even going to remember what they did. But just be reconciled to each other. That makes the Father happy. That makes what Jesus did on the cross worth it. Because it cost him a lot to go there for us. So let's love each other. I know it can be kind of cliche, like let's love one another. But it's so true. Let's just love each other. And just see that freedom and see what God can do in your lives. I see all the likes and the hearts. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, if you comment below... You'll have a chance to, re to 
I will send you, I will personally send it myself, The Freedom Factor or The Wall Around Your Heart. Uh, it's by Mary DeMuth and it's by Bruce Wilkinson. They've both been on the show. And yeah, I'm just going to close in prayer. Um, thank you guys for watching and for reading the word. So let's just pray. Let's pray for one another. And I'll take your comments. If you have a comment, um, write it below. And after I pray, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. So Lord, thank you, Father, for this parable, God. Thank you for teaching us how to forgive, God. And Lord, if there's those who are watching who, Lord, maybe have not even received forgiveness from you, God, for for what they've done, God, for the sins that they bear, God. I just pray, Lord, that even as a confession of faith, that we say that we have sinned, we have fallen short of, the glo of your glory, God. And we just ask, Lord Jesus, that you would forgive us our sins, God. Forgive us our sins. Forgive us when we're wrong. Forgive us when we hurt each other. Forgive us for the things we say and do, Lord, that, that grieve your heart. And Lord, in turn, God, I pray that you would help us to forgive each other. Help us to offer that forgiveness to our brothers and our sisters. And just to be set free, God. If we are struggling, if those who are watching are struggling with forgiveness, God, I pray that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you would set them free and open their eyes to know that you have freedom for them today. This moment, they can be free and they can be healed. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Ah, I see a comment from Lavona Morris, evening from South Africa. Yes, thank you guys so much for your comments. Thank you for watching. And next week, Erica will be on and she will be, she'll be announcing the winner of whoever comments or shares this video. Um, so I hope it's one of you guys. We are definitely, we love to connect with you. This is just, I know I love to read the word, but I want you guys also um, to, to make this a habit, you know, talking to God. God is real. He cares about you. It's not just about show. It's not about performance. It's not about religion. It's about relationship. It's about having a relationship with Jesus Christ. It will change your life. I promise you every step of the way he's with you. He sees all your faults. He sees your flaws. He sees your struggles. He sees your hearts. He sees the relationships you're in that maybe you're struggling with or that maybe you're not talking to someone right now. Maybe there was an offense. But God wants to reconcile you to your brother or to your sister. And he wants to do that today. And it starts with forgiveness. So I hope you are blessed. Thank you guys for watching. And um, stay tuned for next week for another live. And so, yes, thank you for, for staying on the zone. Make sure you like Turning Point Zone if you haven't. Follow us. And make sure you hit that follow first um, see first button under the follow if you like what you see and you want to continue seeing things like this. So God bless you and have an awesome, awesome week. Bye.